Well, welcome back to The Blend. From the Music Fest Coachella to Kim Kardashian's robbery, Ooh. our next guest has what's going down in the world of entertainment. Back with us, uh, bringing us all the latest, is our friend Norm Clark. Hello, Norm. Good, Good morning. morning. How are you guys? Very well, Boy, buddy. Let's talk about this. Oh, Coachella. Coachella. This Coachella. Is this is called yeah. Old Cella because it's <laughs> bringing together Paul McCartney and Dylan and uh, Roger, uh, Roger Waters and The Who, and uh, they think it's going to be the top selling festival of all time. Oh, no doubt. Well, I mean, this is what Coachella, it's of all the different uh, places to have these people come back, this would be the place. Coachella's yeah. the show. Yeah, and it's, um, they're, they're uh, uh, saying that, I mean, it, the, the, the tickets, uh, I guess, are going to be about $200. And uh, a little pricey, but, but it's probably less many than of them twenty five hundred dollars. Yeah, Whoa. I was gonna say so, they could probably get away with. Yeah, more. they're not gonna. They're gonna reach. I think. Uh, uh, I think they might reach uh, ten million dollars for it. No, it's no. gotta be. It's gotta Way be a hundred million dollars for whole, it. A whole lot of yeah. money will be made. <laughs> I think it's fantastic. They're bringing these classic uh, acts and musicians back. Really, that generation, the '60s. You could also almost give them credit with. Kind of establishing the big oh, concert I agree. experience. My generation. I, I totally agree. Yeah. Talking about my, my generation. generation. Yeah. yeah, and I forgot <laughs> that uh, that the um, uh, the the. the uh, no, uh, you got it. They, the, the 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 band that was just here. Uh, oh, Pe Bellagio. Oh, speaking of old, here. the Rolling Stones. Yes. That's exactly right. How could I forget truckers? about? What was this about? Yeah, yeah, they came in and did, I think, for uh, two to three million dollars, they did a... Uh, uh -huh. uh, yeah, it, was, it wasn't a charity event. Shocking. And that there cost, was a price even, that was for, a, a, I think, a trucking company, and that cost uh, a, a two grand or so to go to, but it was at the Bellagio, and uh, it was kind of a warm-up for their, their show. I think, mm. I think they're starting this weekend. I think they're starting tomorrow night. They're going out on tour? No, uh, no, and uh, they'll be in... Uh, at the old cello as well. Oh, at the, at the, <laughs> at the Coachella. And they'll be back in town, actually, the Stones, uh, for October 19th and 22nd, 22nd. Shows mm -hmm. over at T-Mobile Arena. Right. We have to get into this Kim Kardashian thing. I, and it, here's the deal. She got robbed. I don't know where her, her, her bodyguards were. But people are starting to criticize her for the robbery. I love criticizing Kim Kardashian. It is yeah. a pastime. Well, time. she's sure. I feel bad, though. Certainly opening herself up for a lot of criticism and second guessing. No bodyguards, as, as you said. Hmm. Uh, Twenty minutes before the the uh, the robbery, armed robbery, she's flaunting a, a forty carat, five million dollar ring. But twenty minutes, this this had to be an inside job because you couldn't just say to a couple of your sidekick robbers, "Hey, let's go rob that place." Yeah, that, that had to be an inside well, premeditated, job. Premeditated, of course. Yeah. 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 Someone Incredible. had a lot of nerve. Yes. Yeah, that's, and it's that's, and then she fled the country right away. And now that now there's talk that the uh, French authorities want her that they they may file some charges because she fled so so they quickly. They might think she's in on it. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Norm, what is happening with conversations with Norm Clark? Tell us what's coming up. Well, we've got a, quite a surprise. Our first sports. Legend, yeah. oh. uh, Greg Maddox is going to be our star yes. that uh, on November sixth. It's a Sunday, and the World Series gets over earlier that week, and so you'll be able to talk about the Red Sox wing. It'll be great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So if the Dodgers make the World Series, he's going to come back with some real good insider oh. stories, and and even if the Dodgers don't win it, he'll still have some great. Inside baseball stuff. And We're really author looking. Sounds Jack funny. Sheehan's going to be there as well. Jack Sheehan is a local author who's a good friend of uh, Greg's over the years and wrote his, uh, helped Greg write, write the Hall of Fame speech. And uh, we just think it's going to be an awesome, awesome, awesome get together. Looking Thank forward you to the show. so much for You're giving welcome. us the scoop, Norm. Thank great you. Everybody. Have yeah. a great weekend. Catch the latest from Norm on Facebook. Just go to norm.vegas for a link to his Vegas diary or shooting him an email from there. That's up on your screen. We'll be right back.